Welcome back everyone. Today we have a 2012 Lincoln MKZ. It has a 3.5 liter engine in it and it also has a very intermittent cylinder 3 misfire. Now we got this car from the auction and they were generous enough to put six coils and six spark plugs in it before sending it to the auction and that obviously didn't fix it. So here we are. We got this from the auction for our used car lot and uh, knowing it has six six coils that are brand new and six plugs that are brand new and with how intermittent this is i have a feeling i have a bad injector so it's about 93 94 degrees outside again i'm going to sit here in this ac and wait for this car to misfire now with that said i already hooked up an amp clamp to the um fuel injector uh fuse and I also ran a lead from the power side of the injector and the ground side of the injector. So when this does act up, we should be able to see if it is a fuel injector or not. You can tell by the power balance test here that it's not misfiring right now. So right now I'm gonna jump into the scope portion of the uh, Autel scan tool. Now I'm using the Autel scope as well. And uh, we'll see what some known good, good waveforms look like, at least now that it's not missing. All right, so my red trace is my power feed going into the cylinder three fuel injector, reading 13 volts on it. Um, my green trace is on the ground side. My blue trace is the current. Now the current is running through fuse, I think it was 48. And this feeds all six fuel injectors. So I'm able to see all six fuel injectors fire um, at the same time. So we'll wait and see if this thing starts to misfire or not. Well, it still is not misfiring. So while I wait for it to start misfiring, I'm gonna stop this waveform and, and we'll just go over this. So, so my blue trace is reading about 100 millivolts. Now uh, I'm using a, an amp clamp and the amp clamp converts 100 millivolts to one amp. So my fuel injectors are pulling right around one one amp of current. Now you can see the hump right, right here. I'll put a little arrow. That is where the fuel injector pin tool opens. Now, fuel injector has a has so the fuel injectors has windings. <clears throat> as current builds up through those windings, it creates a magnetic field. And as the pin tool moves through the magnetic field, you can actually see this very slight dropout as it's going through the magnetic field of the uh, windings. So we'll scroll on over. So here's my green trace. I have 12 volts going through my fuse, through the windings, into my ground side when the ground is open. Now when the ground is closed, um, current starts to get, build through the windings and creates a magnetic field. When that ground path opens, that magnetic field collapses back onto the windings, which creates that huge voltage spike. So I'm using a 20 to one attenuator, so these voltages aren't, um, aren't accurate on here. But you can see right now that uh, my fuel injector is firing. You can also see my pintle hump, put an arrow there as well, to show that the pintle is closing. So start this back up and uh, see if we can get this to misfire some more. Well, I've had this running for, oh man, say 20, 25 minutes. Still hasn't misfired, but I do think I am making progress. So I moved a trigger to channel B, which is my, my ground wire on my fuel injector. That way, uh, when that injector fires, I can basically sync, sync the current to that, um, to that injector. So when it catches it, you can actually see, let me scroll back. You can see that um, the current for that injector is actually substantially lower than the other ones. And it wasn't like that when I first started it. So I have a feeling this injector is going to drop out of here eventually. Um, just got to wait and see. I'm going to rev it up some, see if I can get it hot. Pretty sure this thing only, only happens um, when it's hot. So I'm just going to keep at it and, and see if I can get this thing to start missing. All right, so finally got this thing to misfire. This thing's been running on and off for about an hour now. So take you to the, uh, we'll go 
back into our diagnostic mode. We're going to look at the power balance mode again just to show you all that it is in fact misfiring right now. All right, so you can see these big dropouts for cylinder three. Uh, so that's basically cylinder three not contributing uh, to the power of this engine at all. So we're gonna go back to the scope. And uh, let me change this time to base a little bit. Not wrong way. So I put it on 100, 100 millisecond division. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna stop this. We'll take this red trace out of here. The red trace, the red trace is extra noisy. Um, I have it laying near some ignition wire. So I'm just gonna look real quick here at our blue trace. Now this here is our current clamp on the fuse again. Uh, you can see that I have one, two, three, four, five injectors and I miss one. So the cylinder, the injector that, so you can see I have one, two, three, four, five injectors and then I skip one. So I have no current building for cylinder three fuel injectors. Now that could be bad, bad power, bad ground, open circuit, um, a couple things. So. At the same time, I was grabbing these uh, traces for the power and ground. I'll get blue, blue out of here. We'll bring red back down. You can see that when this is misfiring, I'm right around 14 volts uh, going into my fuel injector. And we'll check my ground. So my ground has essentially zero volts. Now, the reason I did that is because if I had bad power coming in, obviously you'd be able to see it um, with the scope, but I have 14 volts now. If I had a bad injector driver or a bad ground, I would then have voltage on my ground circuit from where I'm testing it. I'm testing it right at the injector. So let's just say an ECM driver was bad, which is uh, open in the ground path for the injector. I would have 14 volts on my ground wire, but I have zero. So. Basically what's happening is voltage is going into the injector windings, but there's an open in the injector windings, which I, I had, a, had a feeling I was gonna have looking at that current waveform um, and seeing that cylinder three injector was a lot lower. It was about 30% lower than the rest of them. So I have power going into my injector windings, but it's not making it through because there's an open in the injector windings and uh, no voltage is coming out onto the ground side. Um, so I'm gonna put an injector in this one and it should be fixed. Actually, I might not put an injector on it. I might make the used car department do that. Uh, we'll see. But uh, this one's diagnosed. I, I hope you guys um, like this video. I, I'm having trouble making videos during the day because we're so, so freaking busy here. But uh, yeah, I, I had a request from Daryl. Uh, Daryl used to be a Toyota tech and he jumped to the independent world and said, hey, I should make more videos on non-Toyotas. So although I have a couple of injector videos, I figured I'd make another one for him. So hope you all enjoyed and I'll, I'll catch you all next time.